I'm just gonna mosey along over here. Hmm, let's see. Archon, that's the last boss, right? Yep, yep. Madness 16. Yep, highest difficulty, check. Uh, round one. Yeah, that's the first turn. I, I believe that's the first turn. Hmm, we got all these attacks here. And uh, let me check the math here. 1600 plus 900 is 2500 times three. Yep, yep, that's a dead boss. And I have a bajillion <laughs> more attacks. That was just one carnage. Uno carnage. More than half the boss's hit points. Um, yeah, because math works this way. Let's uh, <laughs> let's take a look at how this happened. Do, 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 do. So, for any of those confused, there are some uh, interesting ways that the math works in this game. And uh, well, I'll, I'll go into more details about these combos and stuff here, but uh, the goal is I am trying to put as much base damage on Grookly as possible so that he can abuse it with the Fury Meister himself. Let's see. Fury, Fury, Fury. Fury, by the way, says plus 500% damage when you're at cap. So. I want to give him as much uh, damage as possible. Uh, I'm going to go more in detail about the combo. Let me just kind of play through my turn. So unfortunately, normally I don't have expert tracker myself here, but I only have, I don't have any card draw here. This is my only card draw. So I have to expert tracker this turn. And because I got it, I can't, I can't draw this. I got to draw the deflex. So uh, I'm going to play, everyone's going to play their entire deck. Some people more than once. And, uh, yeah, with enough battling, let me just start doing. Um, draw. Draw. I've got a Noble Shield here that triggered another draw. Draw. Ooh, Wild Hunt. This says put Mark. I like Mark. Mark says lower resistances. Uh, now I've got some card draw with the Continuum Blade. This is a free slice because Andrin has the ability to do so. Only one card that draws here, so let's uh, keep drawing. This is the rest of my deck. So I do not need the deflect anymore. And I have crafted my deck accordingly such that I have... Whoops, I put that on the wrong person. That's supposed to be a Nezglex. That's supposed to go to Nez. Uh, this is what I get for talking. But I have exactly enough energy for everything I want to do. Uh, I say that except for I had to... Why is my math wrong? Whatever. We're going to put some poison over here. We're going to put some weakness up here. Oh, and I'm just not going to be able to do that slice. Uh, because it slices a refund. Alright. You can tell I can't talk and play. So if I play the slice, I was trying to do the math. I was like, I don't have enough energy for everything. I still had momentum, so I was supposed to play the slice, draw another card, get another energy back, and play the thing. So I'm actually, I'm showing you the oops version of this, because apparently I'm not in a position to, to talk and play at the same time. Gain some energy, draw some cards, draw some more cards, because I've got a book that says spells. Oh look, it's more sharp. Uh, draw some more cards, give some energy to Nez. Draw some more. Would you notice a theme here? I'm really just trying to consistently do every single card in my deck because every single card has a purpose because Archon Ren here is not going to have a chance. I am going to decimate him before he is allowed to do anything. So I think I got to draw here. I got three in my deck here, so I'm going to draw the last of my deck. Put another setup on top. This is everything. I've got five energy, one two, three, I've got one extra here somewhere. Yeah, so. Poison, Grookly, Grookly has 57 poison. This is key, this is, this is noticeably powerful. He's also getting some sharp, and some sharp, and some sharp. And Nezglect is slow, so he's gonna go before Grookly. Yep, yep. Uh, Grookly can only generate nine, so he's got five powerful right now from an item. He's only gonna get four more from one more item, so I gotta give him Right there, I'm just giving him one powerful. One energy for one powerful. Totally worth it, I think. Most likely. Also, it's just a little bit of leftovers from earlier game. All right, uh, draw cards first. Uh, this one says vulnerable. Yes, please. This one says vulnerable. Yes, please. Uh, I need to do the flash heals after I have the chosen ones up. I have the chosen one up. No one needs healing. I'm just here to draw cards and trigger a spell. Uh, I've got two card draw left, so let's go drawing some cards. Lots of card draw here, lots of card draw here. I want to uh, dilute. I have baptism, but I'm not going to baptize him yet because he does not have enough wet. I would like to get 250 wet, please. So to accomplish that, I got to dig through my deck the rest of the way. So let's go a digging. Oh, 
20% resistance is lowered. Yep, yep. I like that. I'm digging. I'm digging. Two cards left. So we're going to dig past my deck. Found the dilute. If I didn't find it, I would have done other things. This card is a leftover. I don't need it anymore. That's from older strategy before I got to the final floor. And then what do you know? I dilute uh, here. I got uh, 50 wet. Yes, that's max wet, by the way. So uh, acceptable. Now I need to baptize. Give myself a little bit of energy and baptize the group Lee. You are now blessed, my child. Go forth and decimate. Oh, wait, you need more cards? Oh, here, have some cards. You are now full cards. And I, I've even got leftover resources. What do I do with them? Nothing. Hi, Grookly. I believe his phrase is, Would you like to rage? I had a better impression of uh, Grog earlier today, but uh, it's been a... Uh, it's been a day. So I need to get some Fury. I need to get some, some Fury. Uh, I need to get some Fury. Fun to get thing here. This one says triple Fury. I'm at 36. Yep, let's triple my Fury. I'm now at max Fury, but I would still like to draw my cards and get to the bottom of my deck. I have four cards left. I feel like that's different than last time, but uh, all that's down in here is just one Blade Storm. That's okay. I think we're fine. So Onslaught says draw cards. So let's draw some cards. And uh, ooh, I can draw some more cards. And I can draw some more cards. There we are. That's everything. Dual Wield says double my next attack. So would you, would, you, would you just look at that? Look at those numbers. Any one of these can, like, this is going to do, you know, four and a half thousand. Rampage itself is going to do 3,500. It's just, the numbers are absurd here. Look at this, 889 base slashing damage. Mm-hmm. Take just just look at that card. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Slash slash. Mm, yes, and this was a free one. I could kill the Archon three times over. That's Madness 16. And they say Sylvie's overpowered. My problem is. So I'm gonna go a little bit of rant here. Whenever I make these videos, nerfs happen. There is a nerf in the works for sli uh sharp. There needs to be a nerf in the works for Sharp, but I feel like sometimes people don't have the whole picture. I can only go through and play each build one at a time. There are over 1,800, I think, is what the numbers was. on. The, like, I did the math. You know, there's there's 16 characters. There, there are over 1,000, nearly 2,000 possibility of combinations of heroes. And uh, the math just sometimes check out that some are stronger than others. And I could go a whole video about how to do balancing and nerfs and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah. It's, uh, who should I, who should I do it with next? We'll find out. Tune in next week. I don't know. I'm, uh, <laughs> it took me a little while to deal with the, the recording, getting the sound right. I was just like, I, I went to Bill Hans. I killed him with one carnage. I, I was laughing up a storm. I'm, I cannot begin to describe to you how enjoyable it was to engineer this. It took hours and planning and precision, and it was lots of fun and they succeeded. And I mean, I know there's already a, a patch in the works, and there should be, but uh, there might be a bigger patch in the works. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't want this to go away. I would like to be able to do this extreme stuff, even on the highest level of difficulty, because it took a lot of effort. And uh, I can't show you. Let's, let's go look at some of the items. I don't want to show. I just want to show you that I did not have the best items. Uh, past games. Um, there is not a mythic item to be seen here. Just normal items. Maybe not some normal cards. It's a lot of enrages. I'm not going to lie. That, that was a lot of enrages. Normal, guaranteed items here, for the most part. Nothing crazy. The Archmage book was a was fantastic. I'm using slippers. Slippers. I like the slippers. They're good. They feel good on the froggy feet. Uh, there was a death. The frog did die to the Hydra, because the Hydra took a turn. Go figure. Um, yeah, he's... Uh, I don't know. I just want to talk about this a lot because it was fun and I want to do it again. And I have the save loaded, so I'm going to go kill Archon again like that. And uh, I enjoyed it. I did a decent amount of Corruptors. I did not take the optimal path. I did score fairly high. I now see that. But uh, it's just there was a lot of engineering to make this happen and a lot of little things. It only takes little things to make big changes. And so I think Sharp needs to change for Gustav. 
uh, I'm, I'm kind of ranting into that. I'm, I'm, I'm going to do, I'm going to do three videos after this. I'm going to do one, so look for these. I'm going to talk about one about balance changes I think should happen and how to make balance changes and what actually balance changes are likely to happen. And that's a little unfortunate, but hopefully we'll have a whole discussion about that. A little bit of me ranting, a little bit of me hopefully trying to get the message across to certain individuals. We'll see. Uh, then we're going to talk about the, the baptism combo because this is only made possible because of, of baptism. Uh, the polluter helped a lot, allowed me to do that, the double dilute, because I had two poison, like, I had a, this has already been nerfed, this is the me working through and powering through the nerf version of this, um, but the baptism turning, you know, water into bless, that's a, the big key component about it, and once I was able to get that, I could only get that going at, like, the very end of Act 4, once I had all the pieces and all the stars lined, up until then, it was, a, it was a little bit of effort to get going because I had no defense. Like, there are no healing cards here, which is hilarious. I had to do them in the beginning. Anyway, so baptism combo, there's going to be a whole video about that. And then last but not least, there will be a Grookly guide. And it will basically just say, get in rage, get carnage, play cards in the correct order, win game, and uh, just fury. Everything is fury because it just scales so well. The numbers are there. Um, I could go into a whole discussion about perks and have a math on them sometimes uh, is interesting. But uh, yeah, expect uh, a bigger nerf than you uh, was planned. That is that is my goal with this video. By goal with this video, I mean, eh, it's a love-hate relationship at this point. I will catch you later. I, I could babble for days. Peace.